What did you play for the rest? Bleep. <laughs> <laughs> Good and you. Good. What do you need? Driver's license. Where are you going? Uh, we buy cars. I don't have a license. Okay. Huh? Okay. Now I've got a license. I found it. Thank you. So we are getting into we buy. We're busy driving into we buy cars at the moment. I want to quickly have a look here. Uh, we are looking for a small bucky for a driver of ours. Uh, just to assist with some of the buying and, and running around sites so um, they might have something here uh, I've also got a meeting quickly so I've actually scheduled the meeting uh, with this guy at We Buy Cars because they have a little coffee shop in so two flies is that, a, is that even a thing in English? <laughs> I don't know if it's a thing in English two flies with one club dood geslaan from On the level house, we are quite busy with a lot of things at the same time. Here is some laminate flooring going in. Is that laminate enough of it? Yeah. Come and have a look here. Previous owners tried to do their own sandblasting with, um, with spray paint. Didn't quite work as you can see. We will... <laughs> we were planning on keeping these doors. Hopefully we can get this clean and still be there. Um, most of the houses we buy in Gersfontein has a lot of yellow glass. Um, yellow glass on this door is not stained. Um, Hansi is on his way to the new site now for, well, he'll be, oh, <laughs> Hello? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, um, uh, Hansi, electrician, is on his way to Eleanor. Uh, at he'll be there at around 12.30. Can you be there? Okay, no problem. Okay. Thanks, uh, and then just that old yeah, DB discussion. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking him to, I'm taking the, the guy to the trailer to Lundy Street. Okay. Just pull up the last road there and then I'll just come back here. That's fine, uh, it's only 12.30 that he'll be there. Uh, okay, thanks. Okay. Bye. Yeah, we'll soon pop into local checkers or, or something like that. Hopefully they won't give us trouble for shooting. Um, but the idea is just to get some coffee on site and a few cups on site uh, so we can get vi visitors and yeah, uh, that's what we're doing at this stage. A few moments later. Good. I see you don't want to bring me rubble anymore. No, the problem. Um, when, I go, when I got back last night, uh -huh. uh, that day, the, uh, the neighbor, he said he wants everything. Uh, okay. I just send it back. All right. So I, I want to do one load. Okay. Will, will you check for me if you find more rubble? I need a lot of rubble at two houses. Otherwise, we must make a plan to go load somewhere. 
um, but I'm not sure where. Um, but but I prefer to rather give you free place to dump close by than to yeah. um, than to buy filling somewhere and having to pay you to go and get it. Oh, yeah. You know. All right, um, Andrew. I think I've also got a load for you uh, to take. Um, rubbish that's that must be thrown away it's not it's a rubble but it's like toilets and wood and stuff that I cannot um, throw in the swimming pool to fill yeah. um, at that same house that Thelma Street number 710 yeah will you load for me one load today yes I can all right then we will also make space for when filling comes then we can drop okay. all right thank you Andrew speak later so, thank wait, wait, um, um. Anytime there's people there. <laughs> Actually, there's people there all the time. It was just that one day when you were here, we moved all the guys to one side for a meeting. Okay, no problem. All right. I'll make it. Th thank you, Andrew. Okay, bye bye. So, um, uh, Marcel just asked me why do we actually need the rubble <laughs> we normally take it away from site so that's right um, except that this house we are filling up a swimming pool we've got quite a dilapidated old swimming pool in not such a nice position that we want to fill up so just to give you an idea let's get the gimbal to move with me <laughs> there we go um, we've got a lot of rubbish but um, clay and that type of rubble isn't ideal and especially these soft materials is definitely not ideal to put inside a swimming pool when you're filling it you want to put uh, stuff that you can compact and that's hard so we've got two houses at the moment where we're filling old swimming pools so that's why we need rubble so we we discussed with our normal rubble removal guy if he uh, breaks down walls or houses or stuff somewhere else to uh, instead of taking it to a dumping site to bring it to our site and be able to uh, just dump it here so it's cheaper for him it's cheaper for me it works out for everybody uh, let's go inside uh, Thelma at this stage see what's happening here it's called the levels house I forget I keep calling them on their street names we've decided to give these houses a bit of personality almost and call them names <laughs> so this is the levels house um, we've done a lot of plaster at this house uh, there's a lot of rough brick uh, like you guys see on the outside uh, there's a lot of rough brick like this that was inside as well I'm okay with this brick outside and we're gonna spray it uh, so it's gonna be much lighter nicer brick but on the inside I prefer um, surfaces that is plastered unless it's a feature so I'm gonna show you in the, the um, uh, behind the fireplace we are planning a feature wall with some of the brick and we'll do something really interesting there so these ceilings are actually um, uh, naughty pine ceilings that we are in the process of painting we're not planning on replacing this completely and we're going to do a really cool black beam with uh, a white ceiling on top let's just quickly check yes Devalt, how are you uh, maybe 15 minutes late. Perfect. Um, I'll see you now. So yeah, we're busy pl uh, in this property. We are busy uh, prepping ceilings. As you can see, I'm not, uh, what's it called, um, superstitious. I'm okay with walking underneath ladders. It will be a mission if we're on a site and I'm not allowed to walk underneath a ladder. Um, these, uh, um, what I was saying is uh, we're busy prepping all the ceilings for paint because uh, we don't want to have scaffolding and large ladders and stuff on new tile. So at this stage, we're basically starting from the top and bringing it all down. Uh, we'll probably be start tiling here next week um, as soon as the ceilings are done. Because as you can see, the walls aren't bad. A lot of these older houses that we buy, the walls are yellow or pink. Uh, this house, we got white walls off the bat. Good and you. Fine, thank mm -hmm. you. You can take off your mask if you want to you on our are. site. Yeah. Good morning. Um, That's our new videographer, Marcel. Okay. Nice ben nice got a good job at, at Virgin, uh, Virgin Active. Uh, we buy cars. Oh, okay. So he left us within two weeks. High and dry. <laughs> But he, okay. he, he, had, he at least didn't leave us high and dry. He's getting out episode two today. Okay, good. So um, you guys have met Diavalt. He's from Thai Link. We were at his shop last time. I asked him to come to our shop today. 
two shops. <laughs> um, they were at this house uh, to be checked 130 square meters tiles. That light gray we picked out. Okay. Um, is it still available? Yes, it is. <laughs> Kept it for you. Okay, awesome. For a good deal of toilets as well. Okay. Well, we need a toilet. <laughs> um, toilet in, in here. It's going to be toilet. Kiara, you can quote yeah. on everything you've got. Yeah, Kiara is probably easiest, unless there's okay. something else, but probably Kiara. Because with the. Um, so, just to give you guys an idea, Kiara Basin is a basin produced by somebody. It's imported. <laughs> imported. imported. Um, but it, um, it has the basin mixer sit on top of the basin and that way you don't need to have a full high length. If you were to yeah. have a, a normal basin sitting out or like a prep bowl style, what do you no, call you them? Need an elevated you need an mixer. elevated mixer and that's way more expensive. So we buy these basins, we've been buying them for a, quite a long time, they're nice and square and standard. Yeah. And then they have the basin on top so then you can have a normal Very basin cool, mixer. So, um, so in here, two basins, two mixers. Bleep. <laughs> yeah. Let's actually leave to, to the yeah, next side. So you can see it's already, already La Rue friendly. Um, Is he here? Uh, not now. I see his bucket is not here. So, Guys, just something quick. Uh, we just discussed this. Let's go outside quickly. They are banging and knocking. Almost fell. That would have been great on camera. Um, they, there's a lot of banging on our sites, and I know, and it's a lot of the feedback we've been getting is that there's um, it's difficult to hear. And I know when I've watched these types of videos that um, you listening to the guy at, at one volume, and then there's something happening, a car or a a banging of a hammer or a sledgehammer or whatever right after that and then you're like uh, watching TV and then it's crazy hard and then you can't hear and, and I understand that. Um, at this stage we've decided to not, we've mic'd up as you can see, we are planning a bunch of other stuff to ease that issue but uh, we don't want to stop sites and stop our business every time we're filming. We rather want to take you guys along. So I'm sorry for all the banging and stuff on site. We're going to try to see what we can do to mitigate it, but I'm not gonna stop all banging and knocking and everything on sites to film. <laughs> this, this is not our prime, this is an extra, our prime business is the knocking, so we have to continue with that. Um, okay, back to business, <laughs> Give all. Marcel, do you have your keys with you? No, I don't. In the car? Yes. Okay. I'll grab my keys quickly. Hey, YouTube, have a look at this. That's the magic of TV. <laughs> not really magic, though, anyways. <laughs> it's not real magic, folks. <laughs> um, so we've set this side up. It's also a unit, but we've set it up as like a little office space. Oh, we actually shit. bought coffee and cups and stuff again. again today. So next time you come, you'll have... <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. So next time you come, you'll be able to see a bit of a cleaner space and have coffee with us. But okay. so this will be living area, like you see, like you saw there, bathroom. Okay. bathroom and, so we're and looking at six basins, six toilets, six. I don't know if you want to use small shower screens or, or shower units like corner. I units. will have um, Dupi uh, rent. He's busy with the final renders of this property. So he will give you an exact floor plan by the end of the week, okay. at worst. But for now, I think for both houses, I prefer... Oh, oh, that's the one thing I forgot. With this house, we maybe want to do gold. Not gold, brass. Brass, taps. Let's have a look at what the cost of black oh, of brass taps I've are. Got, the brand will be Bijou. Okay. Yeah, so I'm sure got, they're quite expensive. <laughs> um, let me check. Because we're going to do black, white and brass. I actually did it for, um, what's his name? For, um, for Lawrence. Peter, Peter oh, Barry. Peter Barry. Yeah. Let's have a look at it. I'm talking about wastes. So let's do, let's do three quotes. Uh, 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 a quote, just a rough quote. Options. With, well, three options. Yeah. Chrome, black, black 
and, uh, and bros. Uh, bros. Okay, that's good. This is Freddy. Right. He's with Beacon Real Realty. Is that our or yeah. real estate? What do you guys call it? No, Beacon, um, real estate. Beacon Real Estate in Ferry Glen. Um, we're looking at a property with him today. So thanks for coming through. Today, I want to quickly show you guys a house that uh, last year when LaRue was in an accident, I finished on my own. <laughs> Before that, we planned it out together, um, but I then sold it and the people moved in way before he could even see it properly. So I came today to come and show him and the owners led us through uh, to quickly show it. And the, I must say, the furniture in this space looks spectacular. This is what we want to do with Big Pond Properties. We want to get it to a place where the furniture actually accents the rest of the space. And based on that is, uh, well, based on that is why we choose the colors that we choose and, and use the tiles that we use. Uh, but in, instead of me showing you through like always, since this house has been sold and everything, I don't have to give you some marketing magic. Uh, I've asked LaRue to take you guys through after he has now seen it. So he's right inside and he can show you through. Welcome to one of our latest houses. As any said, it's already been sold. Uh, so sorry for that, but I think it turned out amazing. I was not able to be part of the finishing of this house uh, due to my accident, but uh, I think Henny did an outstanding job. You're seeing my first reactions. I haven't seen this space. Uh, also now I'm seeing it with the correct furniture in place and I have to say I am loving it. Uh, you just came through a nice entrance, entrance uh, space um, where you get some, some space to, to maybe have a, a, a seating area or just a nice desk with your keys and so on to pop down when you, when you enter the house. This TV room is done exceptionally nice. Um, I think most of this are like uh, this is Corey Craft furniture. I, I recognized most of these pieces as things I would put in my own house as well. Very nice. We've done some feature walls and some recessed cabinetry there on the side. Um, I think everything just works so well with the natural colors, the natural leathers that we have here. Then we're passing through to a dining area slash open kitchen and it does look very impressive. We have high vaulted ceilings in this room um, with some shadow lines to, to open up and reveal the beam that we put in there. We basically had to rebuild this whole room because of bad uh, walling and structure. It, it wasn't correct and it wasn't something that we could just gloss over and, and move on with. So that is something that we had to replace and that's how we decided to get this massive vaulted space and I think it came out so nice. Uh, we also did something new with the, with the tops and, and the cabinets. This is a, a new range from PG Bison, it's called the Color Palma Color. And then we also have some flamed granite tops here. Um, if you could only feel on the camera, but it is a really nice and rough texture. It's also sealed so it can't stain or damage easily. Um, so as you can see we have a nice freestanding gas stove here, looks magnificent in the space. We have also a nice, nice butler zinc with some black hardware here and then we have a, a, a big spacious scullery there on the end that is suitable with two machines as well as a double zinc and another scullery space. Then on the outside we, we also we added a, a bit of a, a patio space with a built-in braai, um, under, under roof seating area, put on the lights there for you. 
and it all lives out to a nice black splash pool. I think it just features amazingly against the, the greenery outside and with the green grass. It just looks stunning and inviting. Moving from the outside again inwards, let me show you around the bedrooms. It's a very nice and spacious three bedroom house with three bathrooms, well actually two and a half bathrooms. As you walk in through the hallway you can see the first of the bathrooms with the basin on the left. It has a nice feature wall at the back. Um, this is just something that we do to, to create a bit of impressive architecture and styling on the sides. Uh, going to the next bathroom, you'll see we put in a big floating basin uh, with a round mirrors and black hardware. I think it, it's very appealing to the modern clients um, as well as a large walk-in shower with black, black hardware all over the walls. Uh, it, it features very nicely. The two kids bedrooms on the side present very well. They are north facing so they get a lot of sun. Uh, they also have a lot of built-in cupboards in and also in the same proper color. We, have, we also have a feature window that, that forms, forms part of the front of the house which also gives a bit of character to the building. Moving from there, we're going to the main bedroom which when you walk in features a his and, her, his, and hers closet space. Uh, that, that just gives a, a bit of a design aspect and a, and a bit of a seating area. From there walking into a open bathroom, all black designed, dark, moody colors and that basically wraps up this property on the inside. We hope you've enjoyed this tour on the inside. So as you saw now what LaRue showed you through the property, um, I think this was superbly finished. Uh, we are so happy with what the owners did in terms of furnishing in this house. Um, like LaRue said, a lot of natural woods, a lot of leather, a lot of nguni, a lot of <laughs> life uh, that they brought to the place in terms of plants as well, uh, wooden furniture. This, you know, just makes this is the type of living that we design a house for. Yes. This type of decorations, this type of layout, this type of furnishings. That's why uh, we paint walls white, have grey tiles. Yes. Might seem a little bit monochrome without staging, but as soon as it's finished, it really works. Um, I think it's very nice. It's, it's, we're going into winter now, but it's actually very nice outside living because you're still under roof. I, I can even see with winter you have um, opened up all of these doors, uh, cooking on the inside, brying on the outside all together. Not sure about taking a swim. I don't know if they, I, th I don't think they've added heating to the pool. We didn't add heating. Not yet. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bunch of other features. Um, there's irrigation. Um, electric fencing. Electric fencing, uh, terraced gardens. Uh, what did we miss? I think that's all of it. So this has been a tour of our last property that is finished and sold. Thank you for watching and... We'll probably do some more of these. Yeah, I definitely think so. Um, I've been wanting to revisit some of the older houses that we've done and Especially see... Especially some of the first. Let's match them up with uh, the, the, what JC and, and his wife has, have done here. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe give, us, give us a rating on the property. Yeah, what do you think of this property? Out of 10? Out of 10 or 5 stars. Yeah, five stars. Five star rating. Okay, five star rating. How many stars do you think this is and would you like to stay in this house as it's furnished now? Yeah. Thanks for joining us on this tour. It's Friday afternoon again. We are at Thirst in Pretoria East Ferry Glen today. Uh, we're having our Friday afternoon beer, we're having a run through of the week and what happened. Uh, we hope you enjoyed last week's show. Um, as you would have seen if you've watched the video, uh, Eddie was at Rebuy Cars earlier in the week. We're looking for a vehicle for a driver. Uh, you can think of a typical construction vehicle, possibly a one-tonner or a, a bucky or a, possibly a panel van even. 
Yeah, maybe uh, something like a Hyundai, what's it, H1 or H100? H100 or a Kia K270. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, one of those vehicles, so maybe we buy cars, maybe you want to approach us, maybe you're a salesman, maybe you are a car dealer. Um, call us, contact us, show us what you have, give us yeah. a good deal. Uh, we'll, we'll punt you in the next video. We definitely if, will. If you give us a good service and a good deal. We definitely will. We had uh, 4,000, I think we're about at 5,000 views on our first video. Uh, this is video three. So, um, yeah, maybe we can give you a bit of a punt to, to our viewers and our investors uh, if you give us a good deal. Otherwise, <laughs> we'll just buy something from somebody somewhere. Uh, at both the houses at the moment, Leroux has moved in, his site is basically finished. How many workers are there still at your house on the outside? Like three or four? Maybe five? Yeah, three or four. Okay, so he's basically done. Uh, at the Levels house and at the, um, the house that has no name at this stage, <laughs> we, um, we are still busy with some of the boring work. So you would have seen there's not much uh, that seems amazing and new and thrilling at those houses. So it's a lot of the wet works, plumbing, electrical, all of those types of things going in. Uh, that's why we decided to give you a walkthrough of the house we finished last year and didn't uh, give you a walkthrough of. That's Eleanor where they are moving in. That house is registering next week. Uh, so it seems like everything is finally through the uh, deeds office, had quite a long backlog but eventually it is finally done. Then also, we made an offer on a house, the seller came back uh, with a counter offer. We're on a bit of a negotiation, we'll see if that comes through. But as always, we are still looking uh, for flip properties, for investment properties, every, anything, Pretoria East, Salembos, George, any of those types of areas we'll look at. Uh, yeah, basically then, uh, I hope, you think the sound is better. We did a lot of effort this week to try to get the sound right. Let us know what you think in the comments. The, is the sound better? Does it sound better? Is it much less ruckus on the building sites? A bit better in the bar today um, at first year. Um, I think it sounds better with these mics. We are a new set of mics. Um, I think it's better. Let's see. Yeah, I think that concludes it for today. Uh, yes. We don't uh, want to just ramble on about nonsense like I'm doing uh, now. It's, 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 been a, it's been a busy week again, but not as interesting. Uh, we, we're busy on the sites, we, we're doing site meetings every morning, we are making a lot of progress, so soon we will have some viewable footage of what we have been busy with and there will be change visible. Um, but yeah, I think that's a wrap up of the video. Let's wrap it Please. on this one. Follow us on YouTube, sub subscribe, uh, press the bell, like us. Smash the uh, like button, all of the, the things likes. you're supposed to do Go on to YouTube. Facebook, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. We are posting other content there as well. We're only doing the long form on YouTube. Um, and we give us, give us uh, suggestions of, of what content you would like to see. What parts of the business, what as aspects of the business you want to see. What do you want to know more about? Maybe you want to know more about our investment opportunities or things like that and uh, we can we can discuss that with, with, with potential clients. Definitely you can. All and right, it's Friday afternoon, standard beer, big pond beer tasting week, week at three. first in Ferry Glen. Cheers. Week three. Cheers.